job that just suits me A window cleaner you would be If you can see what I can see When I'm cleaning windows Hi everyone, how you doing? It's Paul here from Unusual Things. Now today, I am in Warrington in the cemetery. Nice little water feature behind. And of course, a little church there. I'm gonna spin around. It's quite a big cemetery actually, surprise, surprise. Do you know what? What I have found is um, coming up north, that a lot of these cemeteries are a lot bigger. Um, I know some of the ones in London are massive, but some of the ones I've been to in Manchester and Liverpool, Blackpool's a little bit smaller, but they are really, really big cemeteries. Now, of course, today, um, I've come here to see the final resting place of George Formby. I think we all know George Formby is, don't we? Yeah, I don't think you have to be in a certain age group to know who he is, but maybe you do, I don't know. But as I was saying, the cemeteries are really big up north, um, which is good gives me more chance to walk around and have a nose now of course if you like today's video please give me a thumbs up and leave your comments down below as always i like to hear uh, amazing pigeon just gonna attack me um yeah leave me your comments down below and uh let me know um if you like george formby at all now today <laughs> i'm gonna tell you a little bit about him and then we're gonna find his resting place like I've just said earlier on however I think I don't think today be a case of I think I found it because you can't bloom and miss it okay <laughs> even as I'm standing here in the cemetery I can see it already and it is standing out massively so there's no chance of me missing this one today famous last words anyway I'm going to tell you a bit more about George we'll get on with it now George Formby OBE born George Hoy Booth 26 of May 1904 to the 6th of March 1961 was an English actor, singer, songwriter and comedian who became known to a worldwide audience through his films of the 1930s and 1940s. On stage, screen and record, he sang light comical songs, usually playing the ukulele or banjoli, and became the United Kingdom's highest paid entertainer. Born in Wigan, Lancashire, he was the son of George Formby Sr., from whom he later took his stage name. After an early career as a stable boy and jockey, Formby took to the music hall stage after the early death of his father in 1921. His early performances were taken exclusively from his father's act, including the same songs, jokes and characters. In 1923 he made two career changing decisions. He purchased a ukulele and married Beryl Ingham, a fellow performer who became his manager and transformed his act. She insisted that he appear on stage formally dressed and introduced the ukulele to his performance. He started his recording career in 1926 and from 1934 he increasingly worked in film to develop into a major star. By the late 1930s and 40s he became the UK's most popular entertainer during those decades. During the Second World War Formby worked extensively for the Entertainment's National Service Association ENSA, and entertained civilians and troops and by 1946 it was estimated that he had performed in front of 3 million service personnel. After the war his career declined although he toured the Commonwealth and continued to appear in variety and pantomime. His last television appearance was in December 1960, two weeks before the death of Beryl. He surprised people by announcing his engagement to a school teacher, Pat Howson, seven weeks after Beryl's funeral but died in Preston three weeks later at the age of 56. He was buried in Warrington alongside his father. So that's all the information there on George Formby. Massive, massive star back in his day. Um, and like I say, let me know what performances of his you've liked, whether it's his singing, his acting, his comedic routine. I don't know, you tell me what your favorite is. Just admiring the view, shall I show you? I know I always say it, and I will always continue to say it. Peace, tranquility. 
calmness and just a sense of mindfulness as well. Great place to come and practice some mindfulness. If you don't know what mindfulness is, look it up. It's about being in the present, being in the now, not dwelling too much on the past, the future. Just allowing yourself to relax and absorb some of the things that are around you. Some of the amazing wildlife that we have in cemeteries. Pigeons and squirrels. <laughs> and other things, of course. I'm joking. But it is a wonderful place to come and relax. If you're ever having a stressful day, come to a churchyard or cemetery. Get amongst the trees. I know I'm starting to sound like a little old hippie now, but it will do you the world of good, I promise you, 100%. There you go, there's Paul's meditation class for today. Right. <laughs> now, I told you earlier on, I'm not going to say it, because you cannot miss it. Are you ready for the big reveal? I know, I found it, it's there, I can't miss it. Ready? I'm leaning on the lamppost at the corner of the street in case a certain little lady comes by. Oh. Here we are. In loving remembrance of George Formby, comedian, died 8th of February 1921 age 45 years after life's fitful fever he sleeps well also george formby obe son of the above who died 6 of march 1961 aged 56 years a tradition nobly upheld and then down below that also eliza ann devoted wife of george senior who died 31st july 1980 looks like one's missing there but i think it's a one aged 102 years wow your songs are ended with the melodies linger mother and Lou. wow what, what a memorial what a, what a headstone to have amazing and I just got to say one thing and you know what I'm going to say there massive thank you to George and to George Senior as well because George Junior got a lot of material from his dad and without George Senior there would be no George Junior we all know that it's basic biology anyway thank you George for the amazing laughs the amazing entertainment and just for being a damn good comedian singer songwriter what else can we ask for and on that note we'll see you all soon take it easy